Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here today. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison between the infamous Palm Springs Mini Backpack from Louis Vuitton and the lesser known Montessori BB Backpack right here. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Irene, and if you enjoy shopping, beauty, or fashion related content, then I would love for you to join our little community by clicking on that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's get straight into the comparison. To get us started, I'm going to show you guys a quick overview of what both bags look like on the outside. So we're just going to start with the Palm Springs Mini. This, I'm sure that many of you guys, especially if you're watching this video, you are aware of what the Palm Springs Mini looks like. This is the front. It does have a front pouch right here that sticks out with the tab and the zipper. The side just looks like so. The back does have the cushioning, as you can see, it has that um, kind of lumpy look to it that's kind of stitched in. And also it's got obviously the um, D-ring clasps. And then the other side looks like this. The bottom of the bag does not have any feet, but you can see that there's this leather loophole right here. Louis Vuitton apparently designed that for a scarf, but I don't really think anybody uses that. As you can also see, the cushioning that is on the back of this backpack also kind of comes down to the bottom of the bag as well. And then the top of the backpack just looks like this. So there is a top handle. And then there's the D-ring clasps again, and again, the zipper over here. So that is the Palm Springs Mini. Moving on, the Montessori BB looks like this at the front. So as you can see, it does have this type of top open style, very different from the Palm Springs Mini that we just looked at. The side looks like this, so it does have that cinched in look because of the leather drawstring cord. The back looks like this. There is no back pocket or anything. This is just um, where they stitched in that top flap, so it's not an extra pocket. And there is no additional cushioning on the back of this bag. Again, there are the D-ring clasps that you can see that attaches to the straps. This is the other side view. The bottom of the bag, again, does not have any feet. And the top of the bag, again, has a um, top handle option for you. And that's about it. So Now that we have an idea of what these two beauties look like on the outside, I wanted to go straight into the pricing. Now, starting with the Palm Springs Mini, this bag from the boutiques retails at 2920 Canadian dollars plus taxes and then the Montessori BB right over here does retail for a slightly higher price point not by much but it is going for 3100 Canadian dollars plus taxes. I wanted to put a quick disclaimer out there that there are actually two versions of the Montessori BB available. The one that I'm talking about, the, the other version that I don't have in my hands, I will pop on screen right now. The other version does have black treated leather trims and leather handles, so that one retails for slightly more than the one that I have in my hands right now. This one does have the untreated Vachetta leather, so this one's going for $3,100. The other one that's on screen, $3,200 Canadian dollars plus tax. Taxes. In total, there is a $180 difference between these two bags if you were to purchase them brand new from the boutiques. Obviously, if you were going to go to the other version of the Montessori BB with the one with the black treated leather, then it would be $280 difference between these two bags. Now, really, in my personal opinion, when I am looking at luxury handbags and you're spending several thousand dollars on a bag already, price difference of two to $300 is really very insignificant, at least in my personal opinion personal point of view. So even though there is a slight difference in price, in my brain, they're essentially in the same category. Moving on to the dimensions and sizing of each of these backpacks, starting with the Palm Springs Mini. This backpack here measures at 6.7 inches in length, 8.7 inches in height, and 3.9 inches in width going this way. There are two adjustable and removable leather straps that come with this bag. And in terms of the drop length, the minimum drop length measures at 51 centimeters or 20 inches for this bag. And then the maximum drop length is set at 56 centimeters or 22 inches. 
For reference, I am five foot four inches and I like to uh, keep my strap set at the shortest length when I am wearing it as either a shoulder bag or as a backpack. So just to give you guys an idea, if you are shorter than five foot four and you don't like things to hang too low on you, these straps might be a little bit long. However, there are other YouTube videos out there where they showed you other ways to kind of overcome the limits of how long or short the strap can go. They have found other tips and tricks to shorten the strap even more. In comparison, the Montessori BB right here is measuring at 6.7 inches in length, so exactly the same length, at least at this base part. As you can see, this upper part of the bag kind of does have the ability to come in or out, depending on how tightly you cinch in these drawstrings. In height, it measures at 7.9 inches. The width is 4.1 inches, so it's just ever so slightly wider in width. Again, there are two removable and adjustable straps that comes with this bag. So these straps, have a minimum drop length of 83 centimeters or 32.7 inches and a maximum drop length of 107 centimeters or 42.1 inches. As you can see, the Montessori BB straps are definitely much longer. Even though they are adjustable straps, they start out with the minimum drop length much longer and then their maximum drop length is again much longer. I, again, five foot four, I keep my straps on this bag on the shortest possible adjustment. Um, as you can see, like it's adjusted at the very end, pretty much, no, very end right here. <laughs> so it is the shortest length, but when I do wear this as a backpack, I do notice that it does hang a bit lower on my back. So it kind of gets down to like a little bit past the top of my bum. <laughs> and so it is a little bit lower hanging if you're wearing this as a backpack or any other way, I guess, really. So if I were just to hold these two bags up right next to each other, you're going just to notice. Again, like I said, the length, so going sideways, they are virtually the exact same, at least starting at this bottom measurement right here. And looks the same, but really, <laughs> according to Louis Vuitton's website, the Montessori BB should be a little bit shorter. And then over here, you can see that the Montessori BB is a little bit wider. Right next to each other, they are virtually the same in size. In Next up, we're gonna talk about materials that these bags are made out of. Starting with the Palm Springs Mini, we have this beautiful coated monogram canvas that makes up the body of the bag, which is 95% of this bag. And then the rest are these leather trims, which are treated cowhide leather. And as you can see, they are black. So this bag is very carefree in terms of not having to worry about water stains or what the weather is like outside. It really does not matter because everything is treated, everything is coated, so it makes for a very, very carefree bag. That's something that you can use year round regardless of the temperature, the weather, whatever. As I mentioned earlier, there are these padded, cushioned back panels here. I really don't notice it myself, but I guess it's supposed to add to like the comfort of you using this bag all day long. Like I said, I personally don't really notice a difference between this bag and the Montessori BB that does not have it, so I don't know, but it does make for a cute little feature and it's a nice little touch of detail. This bag does feature a zipper closure that goes around like this. 
and on the interior you can see that it is lined with a black textile lining and then on the inside there is one little flap pocket on the back panel other than that there's really nothing else in this bag in terms of organization Going back to this zipper here, I've never had any issues with this zipper. I know this is a newer model. There was the original model that they had come out with and a lot of people had issues with the zipper sticking and not gliding smoothly enough. I have no issues with this zipper, personally speaking, although the same cannot be said about this front pocket right here. This pocket, because of this flap that hangs over top of this zipper to kind of conceal it, it does get in the way. It makes for a very difficult time getting in and out of it. I actually don't actually use this pocket whatsoever because it is so difficult to get in and out of and I'd rather just not bother with it. So to me, this bag, uh, this pocket of the bag is purely aesthetics. Next up is the Montessori BB. So again, it does use the same beautiful coated monogram canvas for the body of the bag, which again makes up like 95% of the bag. So as you can see, it is gorgeous. It is coated canvas, so it is not leather, and you don't have to worry so much about rain, snow, water getting on it, spills, things like that. It is just a coated canvas, so you just wipe it clean, and it wears and tears beautifully over the years, as long as you're taking care of it. The trims of this bag are made out of untreated cowhide leather, so also known as vachetta leather, so it comes in this lighter, beigey toned, brown toned, warm toned color, and as you may already know, this is the leather that does patina or darken over time with use with oils getting on it with water stains like it can potentially stain these leathers if you get water on them if you're they're untreated and it does darken over time with age and with exposure to sunlight so that is one of the things and then it does have this buckle magnetic closure so if you were to let it just kind of flop it magnetizes it uses the magnet to automatically kind of snap close. Sometimes you need to help it in terms of getting the proper exact placement, but generally speaking, the magnet does catch and it will close. If I were to show you the inside, it does have this drawstring leather cord, and so you can cinch in this bag as tightly as you'd like. I personally like the look of this bag cinched in tighter so that it looks a little bit more petite. It just looks so cute this way in my brain at least. Some people like to leave it open and hang it a little bit wider and so it looks like this or like they can you can even leave it completely loose and not cinched in whatsoever but I love this leather cord and that how it gives this this very cute look that's very unique from the Palm Springs mini moving into the bag as you can see it is also lined with another textile lining but this time instead of black it is like a brown color and then inside it's just one big hole I have the other strap tucked in there and then there's also a little side pocket along the back panel very simple similar to the Palm Springs Mini. I also forgot to mention that this back pocket here, I love to use to keep my key holder. So I use that little pouch to carry my credit cards in and to attach my keys to, and I love to keep that right over here just because this is kind of like a big black hole. And if I were to pay for something when I'm shopping or something like that, I like to have quick access to find my cards and pay. But yeah, uh, I love to keep that stuff in the back pocket here, easily accessible, easily locatable if that's a word. Moving on to the nitty gritty pros and cons of each bag. For the sake of organization, we're gonna start with the Palm Springs Mini, just as we have been throughout this entire video. So the first pro that I'm going to mention is the simple fact that it is such a beautiful and versatile bag. It has such an adorable look to it, very classic backpack look. And that style has been kind of really in for the past several years. So this is absolutely beautiful. I cannot get over how good this looks. I can easily dress this bag up with some leggings or an athleisure outfit and some sneakers and it looks so effortless but you look so put together at the same time. On the other hand, you can also dress this bag up with like some sort of really cute fall winter put together outfit like some a camel coat, some black jeans or whatever blue jeans and then some booties or knee high boots and again it looks so good. 
good either way. So it's super versatile, easy to style with everything. The second major pro about this bag that I have to mention is the materials. We've already gone over the materials that this bag is made out of. And like I mentioned earlier, everything is treated, everything is coated, which makes for a very versatile, very carefree bag that you can use year round and not have to worry about the weather and whether it rains because at the end of the day, everything is coated, everything's protected, ready to go. And all you got to do if you ever spill anything on it by accident is you just take a clean cloth and you wipe it off and it's simple as that. Because of that, I know for sure that I'm going to be able to get my cost per wear down on this bag. So it seems like a very hefty price for a bag, but really I know that over time it will pay off. The next pro that I want to mention is the fact that it features this zipper closure right here. This zipper closure does make for definitely a more secure way of storing your belongings and ensuring that nothing falls out if this bag tips over. It's just less accessible for people who are, you know, bumping into you, bumping into you to try to get into your bag. So it's definitely really nice in that sense in keeping your contents a little bit safer, a little bit more secure. Finally, the last pro that I can think of right now is the fact that it is such a versatile bag, not just because of the ways that I can style it with different outfits, but because of the the straps that are removable, that are adjustable. You can wear this bag in so many different ways and I do have video that I posted a while ago that talks about how you can wear, I think it was the Montessori BB in different ways, but really all these ways can be done the same thing with the Palm Springs Mini. So if you're interested, I will leave that up in the cards above me now. But this bag can be worn in like at least four different ways and I know other people that have thought of other ways to wear it that I personally won so I don't mention, I don't count it. But personally, I would could wear this as a shoulder bag, which obviously I did last time. You can wear this as a backpack. You can wear this as a crossbody bag, so you just lengthen this strap and wear it crossbody, or you can wear it as kind of like a side slung crossbody bag. So it's the one where you kind of have the bag like. I can't tell, like it kind of, you can kind of wear it like this with the strap going around behind you and you can wear it on the front or on the back. I personally would wear it on my back if I really was looking for like an easy, hands-free, casual type of look. But so many different ways that you can wear this and with so many different outfits. Now that we've mentioned all the pros of this bag, I have to be realistic with you guys. There are definitely some cons that are associated just like there is with anything else in this world. So the first thing about this bag that I personally really doesn't affect me much, it might affect other people though is the fact that it is such a hot trendy item for the past several years it feels like you see everyone has it I personally am not one to care if I am wearing the same fashion trends as everyone else that's why it's fashion everyone follows the trends so it does not bother me personally per se but I know there are some people who want to be a little bit more unique want to have a little bit more personal flair to their style and might bug them that a lot of other people are wearing the same things so if you're like me and you could care less then it will not be a con or any issue for you. The second con that I've heard about this bag, I personally haven't really experienced it myself, but I've heard tons and tons of people over the years complain about quality issues and issues with their bag wearing tearing poorly. But this bag, they had fixed a lot of those issues in this second version. This is the new version, the second generation, whatever you call it. So the older model used to have this same type of leather flap that covers the zipper that covers this main compartment here, which made for a lot of complaints a lot of issues with getting in and out of the bag with this canvas actually wearing down because the zipper is consistently rubbing up against it there's a lot of things like that and so I've heard about all of these things which is precisely why when I was looking for my own I wanted the updated model so I think they solved a lot of the problems already the only thing I can say about that is just to be aware of these issues and make sure that when you are purchasing your own bag you just have to be observant pay attention to these things make sure you're really looking thoroughly through the bag before you pay for it and say you're okay with it and honestly that can be said for any item any brand any price point when you're buying something so I don't think that's anything unique to Louis Vuitton the next con about the Palm Springs mini is that it does not fit inside um, it does not fit as much inside as compared to the Montessori BB don't get me wrong it fits more than my daily essentials so like my keys my card holder a lip chap and an eye drops usually that's like 
all I will really need. So this more than fits all of that and I can fit even like other things inside that I don't necessarily have to carry around with me. So it fits plenty, at least for my daily needs. However, if you are someone who does carry a few more things with them that you just can't say no to, you have to bring around, this bag definitely does not fit as much. One of the reasons why is because of this zipper. The way that this zipper compartment kind of opens and closes, you would think that it's pretty easy to get in and out of. But the thing is, with this overhang over here, you, if you're trying to fit something big, for instance, I'll just show you guys, this guy, this is my Louis Vuitton medium sized planner. If I were to try to fit this inside, you'll see that the rounded top over here, it does kind of take away some of the space that you have. So if this backpack was squared off at the top, I would be able to fit this planner inside no issue. Problem is because of those rounded top design here it does take away some of the space and so it does not fit as much as compared to the Montessori BB. Another thing worth mentioning is because this is lined with this black textile interior it makes it a little bit more difficult to see what's inside it literally feels like you're looking into a little black hole it's hard to see things inside because it's so dark and with this kind of closed off top area and just this as the opening it can be a little bit difficult to get things in, in and out of here especially if you have filled it up a little bit more you're going to find that you're going to have to kind of dig around in there a bit more or pull things out to get to the item that you're looking for. That's another thing that I've noticed about the Palm Springs Mini is just the way that it is. It's just harder to get things in and out of, but it does carry sufficient amounts of items. Finally, the last con that I have to mention about the Palm Springs Mini has something to do with directly with the fact that it is such a hot and trendy item like I mentioned earlier and that is with it being such a hot commodity it is so so difficult to get your hands on and to source one so I personally purchased mine pre-loved from a consignment store after months of searching in the boutiques and calling essays and having no luck and so I would say the biggest tip for anyone who's looking for something that's hard to get or maybe if you're looking for this exact same item don't sleep on the second hand or consignment market because you just might find some treasures there. Switching gears now to look over at the Montessori BB pros and cons. So right over here. Now the pros of this bag is I absolutely love this look of this bag. It is much more of a unique look. It has that bucket style look that I absolutely love with bucket style bags. However, with bucket style bags, I find that I don't have as many options in terms of the ways I can carry it because they don't come with like a backpack option. It's usually crossbody or shoulder bag or at most a top handle as well. So it usually comes with like three different ways you can wear it. But with this Montessori BB, it has this bucket bag look, but it has four or more ways that you can wear it. So I absolutely love it. And I can't get over the look of this. It's much more not, it's not as common to see this bag as it is to see the Palm Springs Mini, at least around where I live. I've seen so many people with the, with the Palm Springs Mini, but I've literally never seen anybody with the Montessori BB. So I do like that. But at the same time, again, like I mentioned, it doesn't really bother me either. This backpack is also also very spacious so with the way that it is designed with this top flap and the way you can just loosen up this drawstring and look straight into this big massive hole it is very spacious it can fit tons of items in there and because of this leather drawstring cord which can cinch in the top of this bag more or less to your likings um you can definitely fit more items in here or you if you are carrying very few items in here you can just cinch it in a little bit tighter which i like to do and that gives it some kind of adjustability in terms of how you can wear this bag and how you can fit different things like i just love how this bag looks when it's cinched in tight like this it's absolutely adorable because of the way that this bag opens at the top with like this top flap and you just look straight into it by loosening this guy it gives you a full like bird's eye view of everything that you have in your bag and it makes it very easy to find and locate things and it's just very convenient that way also to add to that because it is not a black textile lining as it is in the Palm Springs mini this brown textile lining makes it lighter inside as you can see it's much easier to see what's inside this bag than compared to the Palm Springs Mini. To make things even easier, because it is this magnetic buckle closure, it's really easy to close and get in and out of very quickly without you having to fuss around with the zipper and things like that. Again, just like with the Palm Springs Mini, this backpack, because it does have two adjustable and removable straps, it can be worn in many ways. And like I mentioned earlier, I did create a video on that. So this can be, again, worn as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, a backpack, and then 
it also as like a side slung backpack thing. So very versatile in ways that you can wear it and the ways you can style it up. Moving on to the cons of this bag. The first and most prevalent thing that made me hesitant about purchasing this bag initially was the fact that it does contain the Vachetta leather. When I created my 2021 luxury handbag wish list, I had mentioned this bag as one of the wish list items. However, I was having second thoughts about it because of the Vachetta leather. Personally, I am not one who enjoys the look of darkened patina Vachetta leather and so I was very hesitant when I was looking at this bag and some of my viewers who watched that luxury wish list video they were commenting and telling me you know that this leather is uh, this leather is actually kind of pre-treated already and I did find out yes they are correct this leather was already a lightly pre-treated when they were making this bag. So when you compare this Vachetta with Vachetta off of, let's say, a um, Speedy or whatever, the trim, you'll notice that this Vachetta is actually slightly darkened compared to theirs because they have already kind of slightly pre-treated it prior to putting it on the bag. And you don't have to worry about like so much about water stains, although I still wouldn't go running in the rain with this bag. So like I said, originally I was very hesitant about this Vachetta leather, but I got over it. Obviously, I ended up purchasing it anyways. And then I went home and I purchased some items to kind of like their leather protectors and water repellent stuff that helps with the Vachetta leather. So I sprayed and treated my Vachetta leather and I brought it on vacation with me and it worked out perfectly. And yeah, I haven't had any issues. There's no water stains. It's been working beautifully. If you're interested to see what products I used to treat this Vachetta leather, to keep it nice and clean and protect it. I will also leave that in the description bar and maybe even in the cards up above here. Moving on, um, so we can talk about, let's just open up this bag for a second, about this drawstring cinching thing here. I, again, love this drawstring and the way it cinches in the bag and it makes it look so cute and so dainty, but sometimes this drawstring can be a little bit annoying when you are using it. So because if you are um, a little bit anal, and you want things a certain way all the time. When you're getting in and out of this bag and you're trying to pay for things, whatever, you will have to adjust and play with this drawstring every time you get in and out of this bag. So when you're getting in, you're gonna loosen up the bag, right? But when you're putting things away and you're, you're ready to move on, you can't just, like, it. that looks silly. <laughs> I don't like that. So then you're gonna have to play around with the bag with the drawstring and cinch it up again with both hands because this is not like a one hand can do this type of situation. And then you will then clasp it with the magnetic closure. So that can be a little bit finicky and sometimes I notice that depending on how heavy your bag is and what you put inside, if you like your bag really tightly cinched in like I do, sometimes the drawstring can come a little bit undone because of how heavy or whatever is inside the bag kind of makes it come undone and so it ends up looking a little looser than you would like it. So the drawstring can be a little bit finicky but it, I'm just being nitpicky at this point. I love it so much that I can overlook that. Now with this buckle magnetic closure, I can say that even though it is very easy easy to use because it's easy to use for you it means it's also easy for other people to use <laughs> I love with like the ease with which you can get in and out of this bag but the thing is some people may find that this bag does not give them the most greatest security another thing is if you like to let your bag kind of sit a little bit looser without so much tight cinching at the top and you were to close this bag you will actually see that there are slight gaps right here they're not huge and I wouldn't say that things would easily fall out but there's definitely a potential for it to fall out so if you like to really keep your things safe and your belongings safeguarded this bag doesn't give the greatest security and if you're traveling this closure and the way that this bag is designed it's not great for security reasons another concern that was brought to my attention was the question about these corners wearing so if you take a look at these corners you will see that they are pretty much squared like they are squared pointy little corners so the issue with that was that there are some people that have purchased this bag and they've noticed that there is excessive wear and tear on these corners because they tend to rub up, rub off on things and rub up against items. So this constant rubbing will obviously tend to wear down these corners more so than any other area of this body of this bag. And so I personally haven't had any issues because when this issue was brought up to me, I had just recently purchased this bag. And so once this was brought up to my attention, I was extra careful and I have been extra aware and cautious when I do set this bag down, when I'm wearing this bag, when I'm using this bag in general, I am more careful and conscious of 
what these corners are rubbing up against. So as of right now, my corners look perfectly fine. There's been no issues, no wearing, tearing, but that's because, like I said, it's because I've been aware and conscious of it. So if you are looking at this bag or if you do own this bag already, that's just something to look out for if you're not already aware of it. The final con about this Montessori BB bag is that it will not likely be a year round bag for myself. When I purchased this back in April, I barely wore it out either because the weather here is not great in April. And so I had to keep this bag in my little storage shelf until the weather was ideal for me to use this. And so main reason being it's the Vachetta leather. Even though I have pre-treated it with like water repellent sprays and protectant sprays, I still don't want to take the risk on like essentially a $3,000 bag and risk ruining the Vachetta leather. I honestly, it is an adorable, very practical bag, but realistically it will not be a year round bag for me and I am 100% okay with that because it's just with the leather and the materials that they use to create it, it's not going to be ideal for me. And I personally don't feel like I don't know. You may argue this point with me, but I find that this bag just gives me more of a spring summer vibe and less of like a winter fall vibe versus the Palm Springs Mini, which does have this black leather. And so this bag, I feel like it gives you more of a dark moody look, which is easily more paired with fall winter outfits because I wear a lot of leather leggings, leather skirts, black pants, black sweaters. And so this would be much easier for me to style in the fall winter versus this light Vachetta leather, which I find goes really well with light denim, with white jeans, things like that. And so this is definitely for me a spring summer bag. And this is precisely why I purchased my Palm Springs Mini. So I purchased this bag before my Palm Springs Mini thinking, oh, I don't have a backpack in my collection. So I purchased this and then I realized, oh wait, this will just be really like a spring summer bag. That that is why I end up with both of these bags is because this will be spring summer and this is kind of look more of like a year round easy going bag that I can use anytime and that is why I have them both. <laughs> If you're deciding between one or the other, I do hope that my little comparison and my pros and cons between these two bags does help make your decision a little bit easier. If you're interested, I do have separate videos about each of these bags. So if you're interested for that, I can leave that in the description bar below as well. I can honestly say I love them both dearly. They are wonderful bags. I have not regretted buying either of them and adding them to my collection and I'm very lucky that I have them both. If any of you guys out there own one of these bags or perhaps maybe you own both like I do because you're a little bit crazy let me know down in the section uh, in the comment section down below what you think about them is there one that you prefer more than the other are there other points or pros and cons that I forgot to mention or maybe that I don't see I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on things anyways I hope you guys found today's video helpful and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe to join our little community and see my future uploads as always thank you guys so much for for spending your time here with me today and for your guys' love and support. I have always been very, very appreciative of all of that. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!